have all the motors mounted now and um, the next step is going to be to shorten the wires the extensions that I put onto the ESC's because this frame is bigger if you've watched all the other videos you'll understand um, so the frame is bigger and I need to now cut these off and solder on the, the motor mounts I'm going to do one and uh, I'm going to show you how that process looks and how it works or how I do it and um, then uh, the rest is just a pretty much a repeat okay um, we are ready to start reducing the, si the length of these cables and then soldering these on there uh, you can see these cables are they're tiny they, they, they're small and I use thicker cable I just like thicker cable but anyway that is it I'm going to show you how I am going to connect one motor in this case I'm not going to be using um, bullet connectors purely because I already know in which direction these things are going to be spinning and I'm uh, I just like sol soldered connections and uh, that's just me if you want to use another method bullet connectors and whatever not you are more than welcome um, I'm going to be using this uh, I'm just going to be selecting a random oh I like the purple uh, the shrink tubing there we go heat shrink um, I'm going to be fitting it over this the thicker wire or one that fits fairly snugly and uh, yeah um, let's first cut those to length now obviously I want a piece that's long enough so that I can have something left onto which I can actually solder and also that has enough length left that I can fit a, a shrink tubing on there without it being affected by the heat of the soldering process okay now I like this length it's pretty good I'm just gonna mark them all and I'm gonna cut them one by one right I'm happy with that and let's see if we can get our stripper in there to strip these tips off now obviously we don't need that much there we go that might be a little too little a little more there we go Okay. that one didn't come off that cleanly but it doesn't matter um, I'm going to solder that correctly right, I'm just going to move it slightly one side just for the soldering process space on my table is always an issue just going to move things around a little bit Okay, and we're going to bring in my favorite solder. This is 0.3 millimeter. It's a very thin solder, but you know, I love it. It works very easily. Okay, I'm going to actually turn this one even more. Get the stuff out of the way. Right. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, it's a simple process. Soldering is soldering is soldering. in my soldering iron if it seems like I'm adding a lot of solder it is in fact not that much 0.3 millimeter solder is quite thin and uh, you can actually add quite a lot before you, uh, it becomes too much so uh, for a guy like me who tends to sometimes put on too much solder I love this stuff because it controls the rate at which I do add solder right. now these tips are in fact not clean they actually came off the original um, ESC when I desoldered it. Soldered it so I am going to actually cut off those tips 
and I'm going to be stripping them again. Just check the grips of the CDS yes, is fine. Should grip too well. Alright. Now these because they are such thin wires, I am going to twist them. The other wires were thick copper. Um, so yeah. You don't twist them easily. And most often they do not need twisting. But in any case, as I say, it's always it's just my opinion. If I'm doing it wrong and there's a better way, please leave a comment and the next time I do this type of thing I will try to do it in a better way right now these are actually going in a direction I do not like so I'm just going to pull it down um, I like the tip of my wires pointing a little down when I am soldering so that if there's a, any kind of drop off especially with thin wires like this it's just easier right and there we go there we go, happy with that one. Next one. I doubt you can see this on camera, but you know, soldering is soldering is soldering. And if you want a tutorial on soldering, please look it up on YouTube. There's there are quite a bit of uh, tutorials on how to solder. Let's read on this one. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't always follow the rules. <laughs> um, that's maybe just me. I wish I knew all three. Okay. Just a solder. Okay. I'm happy with that. And slightly out of the way and let's see how we're going to align this whole setup so that we can get these wires nicely across from each other okay that's going to be my signal wire that's one right on the other side you can probably match the colors if you'd like that's in my case you know I just take what's available um, shrink tubing it serves a purpose and yeah, I'm not too concerned about colors where these things are involved. Right, let's see if we can link that up. Okay, it's pretty good. Clean. Turn it a little. Yeah, I know my soldering iron's tip is looking a little horrible already. And that's a very nice connection. I like that one. Hey, to be honest, I'm actually not even gonna. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's let's cover that one up for now. <laughs> right. Where's my lighter going? Where's my lighter? And boom, 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 boom. Get a little bit of heat. And there you go. Nice little first connection. Okay, next one. Let's just get a bit. Heat shrink across, bring our lighter, and we're going to heat it up. And boom, look at a nice little shrink. Okay, guys, that is uh, the first motor. I hope that was more than enough for you to see. Um, it's not a seriously complex process. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, by all means, leave it in the comments. I'm not going to show you how to do all four of these motors this way. It's pretty much redundant it's going to be the same thing over and over uh, if you have any questions by all means leave in the comments below